After a long period of waiting, finally today is the official first day of summer and I'm really excited about it because I know the city gets really live and the weather in New York City can be pretty crazy, you know, we could get like both extremes for like really cold and really hot summers but I'm happy that the summer is here and I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful day, the vibes and all that so I'll take you guys with me, so join me. So this morning it was a little bit crazy because as I was coming to work it was a little bit chilly and stuff and I didn't got no hoodie on because I was like you know it's the first day of summer and stuff I should have bought a hoodie but like I say the weather in the city up here in North East it could be unpredictable even in the summertime sometimes it get a little bit chilly but hopefully this year is pretty good and it's not that bad so I'm walking around this beautiful park in the middle of the concrete jungle so it's really fun Talking about summer, hopefully, you know, if God will and if my health is good, I hope I can go out and explore a lot of neighborhoods around New York City, you know, because it's a perfect time to do it. Since the weather is nice, I don't got to be bundled up in the freezing weather, and I know there's always some activity going on over here, so. So far, I'm enjoying Midtown, even though I work here, but it's always good to enjoy it after work. It's like a different experience when you're working, when you're not working, you know, you can feel the real vibe of the city. But it's always good to enjoy the vibe of New York City when you go to another bowl, like Brooklyn, Queens, over there, like you can feel like what a, what a neighborhood is like, so it's pretty fun. Another cool thing about the summer, which I said a million times in my previous vlogs, is that the daylight, you know, it gets pretty dark late after 8.30 at night, so you got plenty of time to enjoy some clear day outside, you know, so it's pretty fun. I'm hearing some type of noise around here in the plaza. I don't know if there's like a concert or something going on, but I'm about to find out what's going on here in the first day of summer. Don't be sad. And you tell your wife, and she says, oh hell no, that's my mother's birthday, you ain't going nowhere. Sometimes I wish I was single. Ladies, your best girl calls you. They were having like a live concert out there. And it was pretty good, it was like good music. It was like a mix of reggae music. Like a chill vibe, it pretty much matches the park with the weather and stuff. And it was all free, you know, like that's why I say you never plan what you want to do in the city. It's a motorcycle right there. And you always find something cool to do. So I'm gonna keep walking my way forward to another park to see what's happening around there. And as I'm walking through the park, I thought I would show you guys like this little street here. It gives you a vibe like you're in Europe or somewhere else. like an old street but it's like in the middle of all the skyscrapers and stuff like I like the floors I mean not the floors like the road so it makes it pretty cool it's like a cool a cool bar and it's one of the things I like about New York City the mixture of architecture I'm heading to one of my favorite parks. We just shoot like a million vid videos around here in Washington Square Park. But for the summer, it's one of the best parks in New York City, better than Times Square in my opinion, because you can hang out with college students and you can feel the vibe about New York City. Right? Let me just show you what's going on in front of me. So you got like this arc here, the architecture. It feels like in France. Then over there you see the Freedom Tower, which that is the tallest building in the whole Western Hemisphere in the United States. And if you were standing like where the fountain is, to the other side you would see between this arc, 
you would see the Empire State Building. So it gives you a pretty cool vibe. You can see like it's packed. You see a lot of college students and stuff. And if you walk around the park, you're gonna see like a lot of street performers. So let's go, let's go see what's going on around there. And it's a really, it's a really beautiful, peaceful day around here. So I don't know if you guys can see in my background, but I never seen the way how the sun reflects the Freedom Tower. I don't know if you can see it clearly. But it's pretty cool. It's really cool. And by the way, I haven't seen him in a long time, but I think he's back again after he had like some issues. Uh, like a few years ago, even when it's winter, there's a guy there that he paints himself white and he, he kind of looks like a statue and stuff. And the funny thing, he's from the same place where I'm from, he's from Puerto Rico, and I guess he does performance here in New York City. Sometimes he goes to Puerto Rico and he does performance, so he's back again, so I'm going to show you guys. So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but when I was telling you, now I'm standing on the other side of the arc, and there you can see the, the Empire State Building, which makes it, you know, it makes it pretty special about this arc right here. So it's pretty cool. gonna be just the beginning of the summer and I know there's gonna be many many events going on over there so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the possible to try to catch you know all the stuff that's going on around New York City because it's a cool city. That was a video of the first day of summer here in New York City so I hope you guys enjoyed this vibe in the video so stay tuned for more and peace.